This nugget is on the behaviour of matter. Imagine a balloon sitting by a window on a warm sunny day. Balloons are filled with air. On a hot day, a balloon will get larger if left by the bright window. If you place an air-filled balloon next to a window on a cold day, the opposite will happen. In the cold, a balloon will get smaller. Why would a balloon get larger in the heat and smaller in the cold? It's all to do with the particles that make up substances, like the solid particles making up the balloon rubber and the gas particles of the air that fill it up. Let's look at some properties of particles, starting with thermal expansion. Solids, liquids and gases all increase their size when heated up. This is known as thermal expansion. In solids, for example, particles gain more energy as the temperature increases. The particles vibrate more quickly and take up more space. This causes the substance to expand. The opposite can happen. Solids, liquids and gases all decrease their size when cooled down. This is known as thermal contraction. In solids, for example, particles lose energy as the temperature decreases. The particles vibrate less quickly and take up less space. This causes the substance to contract. It's important to know that the particles do not change size during expansion and contraction. The spaces between the particles change. The spaces increase during expansion and decrease during contraction. The behaviour of matter changes depend on their local environment. Let's take a look at some examples of thermal expansion. Imagine a set of railway tracks, made of metal. The tracks are outside and have to endure extreme temperature changes. They're exposed to cold nights and heated in the heat of the sun. What could be happening to the particles of the railway tracks in these different conditions? Strong sunlight and the resulting high temperatures will cause thermal expansion in the solid metal rail tracks. This heat could cause the spaces between the particles to expand. It's possible that eventually the railway tracks could crack or even break. Bridges can have the same design problems as railway tracks. What could happen to a bridge if it was to get too hot in the summer months? Engineers and designers know about thermal expansion, and they design features to help them stop these problems. Here is an image of a bridge joint, a space that allows the solid materials of the bridge to expand and contract. There are gaps in railway tracks too, to help prevent damage by thermal expansion. Now let's take a look at some examples of thermal contraction. Imagine a glass of cold water with ice in. A thermometer is used to measure temperature, but how does it do this? How can it tell us the air around the glass is 23 degrees Celsius? If we place the thermometer into the water, the thermometer will show a lower temperature. This is due to thermal contraction. For example, the icy water could have a temperature around 3 degrees C. The spaces between the particles in the thermometer have contracted whilst in the icy water. A thermometer works due to the different amounts of thermal expansion and contraction in different temperatures. Let's look at another property of particles, gas pressure. Gas particles are widely spaced out. The particles move in all directions. If you observe carefully, you'll notice that the particles will often collide with each other or will collide with the container. The faster the particles move and the more frequent the particles collide with the container, the higher the pressure. Now, a key word to be aware of is concentration. Concentration is a measurement of the amount of substance in a given volume. Here we're going to show two containers with the same amount of particles in. The concentration of particles in the smaller container is higher, as there are the same number of particles, but in a smaller space. The gas pressure produced in the smaller, more concentrated container is greater than the gas pressure from the larger container. So the more concentrated and pushed together the gas particles are, the greater the pressure they give out. Gas pressure is also affected by temperature. A gas will give out pressure onto its container. If you raise the temperature, you give the gas particles more energy. The particles move faster and will collide with each other and the size of the container more. This means they give out a higher gas pressure. Lastly, concentration has an effect on gas pressure, even if the size of the container is not changed. If you increase the amount of particles in the same space, the gas pressure produced by the particles colliding with each other and the walls increases. Just as before, if you increase the temperature, this also increases the gas pressure given out. 
So let's look at an example of gas pressure. Remember our balloons from the start of this nugget? Where it increased in size when placed by a warm window, and the balloon decreased in size when placed by a cold window. Do you now feel more equipped to explain why the balloon changes shape? When the temperature is warmer, the gas particles have more energy, putting more force onto the balloon walls due to gas pressure. The higher pressure will cause balloons to expand when it's warm and to get smaller when it's colder. You can see how this is similar to expansion and contractions in solids. So in summary, solids, liquids and gases all expand and contract when there are increases and decreases in temperature. The particles not change size during expansion and contraction, the spaces between the particles change. Gases exert pressure when the particles collide with the walls of their container. The more frequently collisions occur, the higher the pressure. Higher temperatures and concentrations can both increase gas pressure. And our key words for this nugget. Thermal expansion. When the spaces between particles increase due to an increase in temperature. Thermal contraction. When the spaces between particles decrease due to a decrease in temperature. Concentration. A measurement of the amount of substance in a given volume. Gas pressure. The force a gas exerts on the walls of its container.